Welcome everyone to Superintendent's Corner. Today in the studio we have Mrs. Holman. We've had some exciting changes uh, at the middle school. Uh, as you recall, um, in December, uh, Mrs. Milliken uh, decided that it was time to do something new and she retired and we wish her well and I know we miss her. Uh, but with that change comes some exciting new changes. We, we met Mr. Ahouse, the new principal, and today we're going to talk to the new assistant principal at uh, Franklin Community Middle School. So welcome to the studio. Thank you. Thank you. Um, tell, tell the audience kind of who you are and what okay. you were doing before you took this new role in January. Okay. Um, well, I, I was at Custer Baker Intermediate School for the last 15 years, so when it was formerly Custer Baker Middle School, and I taught math pretty much the whole time. Um, I am a, an Anderson University grad and a Butler University grad, so go Ravens, go Bulldogs. Yeah. Um, and so yeah, so I've been a part of the PLC process there, I've been part of the school improvement process there, and so it's an exciting um, change to step into this leadership role. I'm sure that people start thinking, why would you want to leave <laughs> math I at know. the intermediate school when things are going well, you guys had 90% yeah. achievement and things are just awesome to be an administrator? It was a tough decision, I won't lie. Um, I've been happy in the classroom for the last 15 years. Um, I've enjoyed it. I found um, you know, the relationships and the success that you see working with um, small groups of kids. And um, so it was really hard to leave. They've got a really good thing going there right now. They've got a great admin team. The teachers are great. So it was a really tough decision. Um, and you know, I, I've had my admin license for several years and have not pursued anything um, because I've said that I wasn't leaving the classroom until I found the perfect fit. Mm -hmm. And um, Steve's amazing, mm -hmm. and he was—he had the opportunity the last couple years to come to the middle school or to the intermediate school from the middle school and work with the math department. And so I saw in him such great um, just opportunity, great leadership, vision. Um, and so when this opportunity presented itself, um, I had to think long and hard about making that change. Um, but I just felt like this opportunity is so big and mm -hmm. the influence um, that I had in the classroom is now magnified. Yeah. And so um, that's, what, that's what made the decision for me um, was just that this opportunity was so perfect, I think, for me. And I think that the middle school is going to benefit from both uh, Steve's vision and your vision kind of marrying together mm -hmm. to kind of take it to the next level. Um, you guys have been doing some really great work inside the PLC at the intermediate school. Talk just a little bit about that. Talk what you've been doing as, as a group of teachers to help grow our kids. You know, um, there are a lot of things that come through education and, um, and it's, it's easy to kind of get wrapped up in this is just the next thing. So several years ago, um, a group of teachers and Dave Beck went to the conference in St. Louis mm -hmm. and came back and were so excited. And um, this new thing called the PLC process that we were gonna start doing, and I remember from day one, Dave saying, if it doesn't fit in the PLC process, we're not doing it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what is this PLC process? And um, you know, I was, I was kind of a part of that original group that got to explore what it meant and, and kind of lead a group of teachers. And now on the, the back end, I can't imagine ever teaching ever again without having that um, support and that system in place. Basically, the PLC process is just a group of teachers as professionals getting together, um, deciding what it is that's the most important stuff um, for kids to know and then not allowing kids to leave without knowing that. Um, the, the process of deciding what's the most important is pretty difficult. Um, kind of going through the standards, going through the curriculum, thinking about testing, deciding what it is that the, when they leave me to go on to the next level, what is it that I'm not okay with them not knowing? And then finding ways to not only remediate the kids that don't get it yet, but then finding a way to enrich those that do. Um, and then, you know, it's, it's coming up with common assessments and, and being on the same page with a group of teachers. And it's not about me and my classroom anymore. It's about us. Um, I, you know, I don't know that in my teaching career I've ever known specifically what kids don't know what. You know, you know that they are getting a B or a C or an A or an F, but you don't know that they don't know this. And so it's a very systematic way of making sure that kids know what they need to know um, before they move on. So it's an exciting process. You see, I, I was amazed at how quickly 
um, we saw the success that we did looking at the, the science department in the sixth grade um, and, and when they became intentional about the things that they were expecting kids to know and started working together as a team. I mean, their growth within one year of that was amazing. So it's just about being intentional, I think. You know, I know when we started on this journey of PLCs, uh, it was a kind of a perfect storm because we had the state telling us we want 90% of our mm -hmm. kids to graduate. We want to have so many kids in Core 40. And I remember having conversations with many teachers, but I know at the, the intermediate school of saying 90% of our kids are going to get to a math proficient level. And people are like going, nope. I don't think it'll happen. <laughs> but it did. It, it did. did. And, and the intentionality. Yeah. Um, and I think that we no longer close our doors and say, I, I'm going to do it by myself. It's, it's, I have to be the sole person responsible. That's a hard change to make, too, as a teacher, especially, um, you know, when historically that's the way it's been done. Yeah. It's a one-man show, and, and, you know, these are my kids that are in my room, and I'm responsible for them, and I want to do what's best. But opening your eyes to the possibility and seeing that Im almost immediate success and seeing kids excited about being successful, maybe for the first time ever, in that particular area is really motivating. So you think about the PLC journey at the intermediate school. Mm -hmm. Project up to the middle school. Where do you see kind of your, your next couple months and, and a year from now? What's it going to look like? What are some things that you're going to have your fingerprints on and say, this is what we can do together? Um, you know, I think the first thing, the first step for me has been just sitting in the yeah. PLC meetings and um, kind of identifying some of the question marks, the stressors, the misconceptions maybe of what the mm -hmm. PLC process really is. I think that there's a, there's a big... Um, maybe misunderstanding in some areas of just what it is and what it's not. It's not about a bunch of rules. It's not mm -hmm. about a bunch of, yeah. you know, it's about how can we, how can we make kids grow. And I think as soon as, as you step back and realize that, um, that's when the magic happens. And so that's where I, I see, you know, kind of sitting in, answering questions, um, helping when I can um, make it an easier transition. And I would see, I, I've already in three weeks have seen some questions being answered and teachers feeling almost like a weight off. Oh, this is what we get to do. And so I think over the next year, we will just continue to see that grow and we'll continue to see our remediation, our Grizz time enrichment period grow um, and change to accommodate individual teachers and the individual successes and you know um, the freedom and, and I would just see that continuing to grow. You know, one of the exciting things that uh, you, get, you get to do as a leader, you get to have your kids come through our system mm -hmm. and you get to see what that looks yeah. like. So you're a parent as well yes. as an administrator. So uh, talk a little about, you, you, have, you have kids and, and, and your husband's an administrator. Mm -hmm. um, so what do you guys do for fun? Let the audience get to know a little oh, bit. Okay. Yes, I have two kids, Clay and Addie. Clay's a first grader and Addie is a kindergartner at Needham. Love Needham. We've been very happy at Needham. Um, they've got great things going on there as well. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, as a parent, you're very selfish with your kids. You, you want them to have mm -hmm. what it is the PLC process provides, which is individualized attention, you know, like identifying what it is that my kids need. So that's kind of exciting, you know, on, on that end as well. But yes, we're big. Um, I don't know, our kids have a chance being two administrators <laughs> in the family. But, um, you know, we love to travel. We travel every summer. We, um, visit baseball parks across the country and we kind of travel five six states in a summer and um, do a lot of water parks that's kind of the Great Wolf Lodge is our thing yeah. but we do ballparks we do water parks we see I've my kids have seen more in their seven years on earth than I saw before I graduated high school so offering those opportunities yeah. to explore and learn through travel and um, you know that's been really fun so um, so yeah that's great because that that's that's the balance of our jobs. It's it's a crazy stressful job um, on your, you know, seven to seven. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, but we also have to have the other side where, where our kids and our, and our families get to, to to see us grow. And I would agree, it's great having your kids here. You know, I have four boys. And they yeah. they travel with us yeah. uh, through the educational side and also on other stuff. So, um, any any final thoughts for uh, as as a new administrator? Mm. You know, I'm just I'm I'm excited. I've, I I feel like this has been a whirlwind. It's been 
so much new that I would have never imagined. 15 years doing somewhat of the same thing, variations of the same thing in the classroom and being very comfortable. Um, this has definitely been a, an amazing experience, but very, very um, new. <laughs> it, it, I tell you, it's a great job. It I is. love education. I love, our teachers are wonderful. Um, and, you know, I've loved every step along the way. I think you're going to really enjoy you know, assistant principal, principal someday, maybe superintendent. Yeah. Maybe you can sit here in this seat <laughs> and interview new assistant principals. Dream big. Exactly. <laughs> but with that, you've been watching Superintendent's Corner. We, today we've talked about our guiding principle of leadership and also about individual student growth and all the different things that they go into the behind the scenes to make sure our kids really do uh, have the, the opportunity for their potential to, to flourish. Thank you for watching. I'm Dr. David Clendenning. Have a great day.